Love, are we rolling? I think so. Cheers. Salute. My semi-famous... <laughs> my semi-famous line. Are we Saloon. rolling? No, are we rolling? Oh. So I say salute. I'll salute, yes. It's not semi-famous. No, but more of love are we rolling. Yes. Yeah. Been doing a lot of those this week. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Uh, in the carving room, just trying to get the sh- shit done. Yeah. Busy Some, guy. Yeah, summer's flying by. I always say that, but it is. This is a piece of coal. It is. Yeah. Oh, wow. Very nice. Nash was chewing on it. Oh, that's cool. This is a... Uh, I found a bunch, maybe... If you're not... Well, even if you're not watching on YouTube or Rumble, maybe the driveway is, what, 20, 25, 30 feet away? Mm-hmm. And there was a little spot there when I was doing the driveway that there was a tremendous amount of coal. So mm. that's cool. I saved a bunch of it, stupidly, in the beginning of... Like anything I found, save this, save that. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. Big plans. Mm-hmm. And none of that's happened because, honestly, those, the showroom is not done. The office is not done. The eating room is not done. There's a lot of things that are not done. Our house is not done. Nope. But anyway, room me back in. Where am I going with this? Yes, uh, carving. Uh, summer's flying by. I, I did say a lot of this is, is more of my... And I and I can you can say you told me so. I'll give you 100 percent permission on that. In June you were like, ah, oh, you, you know, when are you gonna do it? You gonna? I was like, oh, I got plenty of time. Got plenty of time. Got plenty of time. I got July. July is gonna be my carving month. Well, we're into August 10th. I, I am close. Yeah. Yep. Closer. Yeah. Yeah. Right? A few, a few, just a few good days have made huge progress. Yeah. And what even happened this week that the two days got ate up? What happened? What did we do? Oh, the freaking air, air, AC, the air condition, the air con. Yes. That, yep. that ate up two days. Yeah, we had um, the tropical hurricane come through. It wasn't really a hurricane by the time it got to us, which, you know, they predicted all kinds of rain and wind, and guess what? Nothing. In three days, I don't. I, I, I told Fred West and Geoff and Paulie that I don't think we got a quarter inch in three days. <laughs> it was crazy. Yeah. Not good at all. It was very dry. It is very dry. It was very dry. It is very dry. It's dry. Uh, yeah. Grass is still kind of growing, but I think when it's dry like this, you get more like the 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 bull the bullshit stuff. Uh, yeah, the weeds. Yeah, and, yeah. Yeah, like over over to farm training. The opportunistic stuff. Yeah, it's not the grasses aren't really growing, but these weird. Which actually for for Scoter, man, I'm all over the place. For Scoter, it uh, it is a good thing because it's like shoot, man, they're. Oh, at the training grounds? Yeah, I mean, they're 20, 24 inches tall, easily, yeah, right? So yeah. she kind of navigates it. I call it my uh, uh, not, it's not original at all. I'm gonna, I'm all over the place, so you need to bring me back in, whatever. Um, I've heard people, all kinds of people call them all different kinds of things, but truly way back in the day with Coot, I can remember Richard Barnes telling me, Coot liked to pop. Oh, she liked to pop, but she did pop. And I didn't like it. I did not like her popping. So Richard's just like, just go to a, a big, go to a soccer field, something big. All the recreation parks. He said, go down there and put. He he suggested orange. Current day, I use white. But he's just going to maybe he didn't say the color, but just go down there and put eight bumpers across. So it doesn't really matter where she goes. She finds a bumper as long as she keeps going. Don't worry about the line. Mm-hmm. You know, try to get try to get that popping out of her to build comp. We never used the word confidence then. Back then, we did not say confidence. I don't even think the word momentum came up, but that seems to be current day with my stuff. You know what? Here, this is not on fast. That one isn't. No, they were from from this morning. Just some ceiling fans. Yeah, they were not. There we go. First thing when we came out, I had because it was a, it was cool. It felt it felt pleasant this morning. Yeah, it was nice. It wasn't overly humid. Yeah. So. so so back in the day, we just didn't use. I I, I don't remember the words confidence and or momentum being used but um you made fun of me today saying i said momentum <laughs> sunday you said it's monday every day is momentum love <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> every day is a momentum day well i thought you were doing the you know like the whole man crush monday and well yada yada but so momentum, momentum monday. monday work but then what do you for tuesday and then for wednesday and well, for you, thursday you're you're an imagi- imaginative Here kind you, of guy talk amongst yourself this is really freaking bothering I'm sure you can come up with something. I guess I haven't had the tank top on. 
with uh yeah, it's poking you that's just rubbing right there mm. there we go while you're out there carving you can come up with uh something for each day of the week well it's just every day's momentum and today <laughs> where am i going with this I don't, I, know. Know, I don't even know where I'm headed with this. Oh, the grass. The grass, the grass, and it's getting tall. So in the back, the back mound, it's a good 225-yard run. So let me, Worcester County, for those who have no idea what I'm talking about. Maryland, Worcester County. Worcester County, Maryland. Ocean City, sure. Maryland. Worcester County. It's, it's generally typically a very flat, flat mm, piece. The very. Eastern Shore is flat, basically, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, I, elevation, our finished elevation is 21 feet above sea level. So between here and Ocean City, it only raises, it doesn't even feel like it raises 20 feet, does mm, it? No. Yeah. But it does. So it's very, everything, agricultural fields, very flat, lots of ditches, and common practice if you have a nice, nice training grounds, which those who allow us to use that piece of property, thank you very much. Um, Way back in the day, they, were, they just put dirt mounds. So you run everything off from a dirt mound. So you can, the dog, obviously, once they're down and everything's level, but you, from a distance, from 400 yards, you can still see what the dog's doing. And if you were down flat, maybe not so much, right? So that the back, the very back of the farm, um, and there's, so, there's a mound. So let's say, you drive in, as a sand lane that basically is running north, to the north, in a northward direction. And as it, as it goes up, there's ditches, not ever, not equally, but there's ditches left of the lane and right of the lane. And in the very back of the farm, there's a ditch that basically is the property line uh, to the far left if you're going, going in or to the west, there's a big mound. And running from that mound back to the sand lane, it's about 225, 230. And I just go out there and I put six white bumpers on that lane. There's lots of cover. She cannot see the white bumpers. I, I've seen her run past them mm -hmm. and then figure, oh, whoa, and she does a hard turn, you know, kind of thing. But basically, just want momentum. Uh, the very first day you were there, I think, if you recall, at the there's a hay bale. Yep. She she kind of checked that out. Yeah, she kind of yeah. checked up a little bit, like you know, and I just yelled back at her, no, no, no pressure, no cop. Well, that that's only another tangent. What's what's pressure? What's not pressure? But. Uh, you know, yelling at her is some type of pressure, but no, no collar, electric collar pressure. Um, and I did it on Monday, and then I did it on Friday. And I think she's kind of when we get there now, she knows what we're doing. Mm -hmm. So I, this morning I was like, man, I need to, I need to kind of switch up and kind of, uh, you know, just a different look for it. And I did run it, I've run it from two different mounds, but I really liked more of if I needed to. Well, if if she needs to see me, I'm the, the back corner mount. I'm definitely lit up with the way the sun is. But uh, this morning I kind of ran it from the berm of the pond, and it was a good 250. And um, she, you know she did a nice job. So momentum, momentum, momentum. I don't really care where she goes on those things. Just I just want her to leave and, and run hard. And she doesn't run as hard on uh, doing these these uh, confidence building. It's, it's called a drill because it's not really. It is a blind, but it's more of a drill. Mm -hmm. um, but she does definitely runs fast, but not as fast as on a mark. So, yeah, yeah. Where am I at, love? I'm totally lost. Um, well, just getting back to your your carving and kind of making some headway there. Uh, is everything together? No. No. no you still got to do the teal, yeah, right? The, the heads are not attached to the teal, and I still need to have a canvas back to do. And I kind of have the attitude, if I'm going to do one canvas back, I might as well do a couple canvas back. You get overwhelmed. I, I do. You have I, a do lot. I do, I do, I do, I do. You have a lot, lot to do there. Um, man, I, I did, I did between the, Nathan, the other night, I did between the volleys podcast. I rambled for a damn good two hours. <laughs> yeah. I did. I was like, I'm but, going to bed. But I saw some of the clips. Like, I evidently I have trouble talking. Oh really? Yeah. I was evidently. Talking. Evidently, I have trouble talking. <laughs> God, you know, I even said I posted one of the stories up of like, what am I even trying to say here? I was talking mm -hmm. about soups <laughs> and crabs and clams and uh, creams and vegetables, and I was like, well, you're stuttering all over the place. I, my, uh, not stuttering, just broke up. Like it didn't really, the the, the thoughts were not going together smoothly. <laughs> but you know, there I I, I kind of got ups, not upset. I was upset was about to come out of my mouth. 
I definitely took notice to it, but then I, I kind of reasoned and rationalized. I guess that's just who I am at the end of the day, right? When all these thoughts just kind of invade your mouth and they all come yeah, out. Yeah, they just come yeah. out one time. That's, that's mm-hmm. just, you know, that's... <laughs> <laughs> if I'm, I, my, I'm stuttering. The, my one... My one... Hmm... What do, I, what do I want to say? Trying to, taking up for myself. That morning I was up at 4.11. So I was up early that morning. And we didn't start the podcast till 8 p.m. Mm. And I was very, very good. I did not pour my first crown black yep. until I walked in there. So yep. I was I was fresh as far as that goes. But um, I, I enjoyed talking with Nathan. It was really... It, it, it was a good. It was questions I haven't been asked. So if anybody's nice. interested and wants to learn more, I, I always kind of think about, you know, G off. Maybe not so much Paulie, but definitely G off knows. I I think and assume that you, you know he knows quite a bit about me. You know the, mm-hmm. the, the just, history. Yeah. It, yeah, the interactions over the years. You know he he knows a lot, and a couple times he'll tell me, oh, I, I heard something I didn't know that about you, or I didn't know that, or this, that, or the other. You know, I didn't mm-hmm. know that. And I, I think I think between the volleys podcast, um, I, th- I think that there's some of that kind of stuff. There's again, just the questions I was I was asked. I'm not sure uh, I've rambled on some of those topics like I rambled that evening. So this past week, so uh, love. Hmm. It it is Sunday, and I know you've. Uh, if I if I say that you've had a rough week, rough go at it, I don't. Am I being too, too? Uh, fuck. What's the, what's the <laughs> dramatic? What? Dramatic. That's the word I was looking oh, for. Thank you very much. No. Am I being too dramatic by saying you've had a rough, rough week or so? Well, I, I guess that's in in the beholder, right? But mm-hmm. it, yeah. I mean, it was kind of it was a it was a long week because our dogs got sick. Um, we had to deal with some diarrhea with the puppies, and um, we spent five, six days getting up every two hours because they were barking to go out every two hours. Over. Time out. Mm-hmm. Five or six days every two hours that you got up and let them out. Oh. Because I didn't hear him bark. He doesn't hear. I, I, I can't those believe. Four, those four o'clock ish. There was one day it was. No, 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 no. One day it was three. Mm-hmm. That's. It, I'm sorry. Sorry. The the podcast morning it was three mm. and I thought it was I looked at my phone real quick before That's I got right. up for it and he was proof was making kind of that like a whining, not yeah. like a bark, right? Mm-hmm. It's like damn he's gotta go. So I get up and not to tell people too much, but I'm naked, I walk outside and, and I have my nat- I have my natural breakout over here to my far right with the dogs and I go back in and I'm thinking, Oh, it's four o'clock, it's not really not that much and I looked at the stove and it said three eleven. Mm. I'm like, Holy shit. Yeah. What? Like I couldn't see my phone very good. Anyway, mm-hmm. um, but yeah, I love. Give yourself credit because you're the one getting up, letting them out. Yeah, because like I can't go back to sleep and through the noise. So, yep. Anyway, it, by the what the fourth day, said you know we tried the probiotics and and rice and nothing was helping. So called up um, the vet and said, hey, you know, don't know what's going on, but we've been trying to resolve it. It's not, can we send some poop out? So, thankfully, poops were negative, so just start on some metronidazole and bingo. Problem solved. Back to sleep again. <laughs> Last night was the first night in a week that I've been able to sleep through. Alright, I want to get back to, I want to get back to your week, but I, I, mm-hmm. as I was just sitting there just not joking around because I'm just sitting there with this with the Yeti to my to my lips, uh-huh. just enjoying. Mm-hmm. And then I thought, why is why is that taste even considered enjoyable to me? Hmm. Why? Well, you're taking us down a whole other road. No, I'm coming back to you. I'm okay. coming back to you. But why? I'm just why is that? Why is that enjoyable? What, the alcohol burn, the taste. Yeah. Why is that? I'm gonna do it again. Ice? Yeah. Well, I like ice. You're going neat, but I like that. That I like the the, the coolness. Mm-hmm. Why is that taste? Why is that enjoyable to me? Um, it's kind of like an addiction, I guess. <laughs> I don't mm. know. Well, you shouldn't. You shouldn't mention when I'm talking about alcohol. You should never mention addictions. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Just FYI, there. 
But no, like, I don't know. All right. <laughs> oh my. Okay. So yes, your week is it's just been. It's been a. It's been. Challenge. Again, it was it was busy. We had we had a bunch of borders. Um, um, am I being dramatic with the the way I described your week? That's what I want to know. <laughs> no, give me um, give me another twelve hours and a couple more drinks, and I'll probably say, "Nah, it was fine. Let's do it again." But no, I I did not in necessarily enjoy this last week. Do you want? Do we want to talk about any of the things that happened? Um. Right? I mean, I, mean, I can. We, we, we started with Rover um, uh, uh, just over a year ago, which is how we broke into doing the dog boarding. Um, so Rover is a is a program, an app, um, a business, a franchise, I guess, kind of thing. Um, Making 25%. 20 percent. They take twenty percent of any booking fees. Um, so basically, people you know find um, the people that provide the services through the Rover. Rover app, you can set your own prices, um, etc. Um, the reason I kind of stuck with them is that they don't like to call it insurance, but there is. Love quick, there's a hawk. I don't know what kind it is. Oh, yeah. Well, cool. And we don't usually see hawks like that. Mm -hmm. hmm. Maybe it's a red tail. He's circling big yeah. time. You know, is he over the pond? No. Mark's really. pond? Really? He's a little to the left of it. All right, well, he's just circling pretty tight there. Is that little bird is going to get snagged? Yeah. Rover, love. I'm yeah, sorry. So take, Rover. They take twenty percent. Yep. So there we go. You kept using it. They yep. have this thing called not insurance, but it's kind of like a guarantee that if anything happens to the animals. So we thought. Yeah. So we thought um, that they will, you know, help cover expenses either property damage to us or our pets, or um, and if the animal, you know, gets sick or injured, um, they they, you know, we were led to believe that they would potentially, you know, help um, with veterinary costs. So. We did this thing called a meet and greet leading up to this particular booking and met this little pity pup who's 10 months old. Um, he's He was nervous and I uh, was definitely a little apprehensive about taking it, but figured given us give it enough time when he gets here that he'll settle in okay. And, and we did the meet and greet. But that's what I was saying. We yeah, did the meet I'm and sorry, greet. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you say yep, that. did the meet you know and what? greet. I, and I was just, I put this up to my lips again. I was just thinking like, why does this taste so good? That's, I didn't hear you say I'm sorry. No, yeah, we did the meet, meet and greet is, is prior to the actual booking date, just so they can see us, we can meet them, meet the dogs, see how they can maybe get along with, a, you know, some of our pets. Um, you know, again, he, he was nervous and the owner was here, um, you know, which definitely changes the dynamic of of how things are going to go, you know, pet, the animals, you know, regardless of whether it's our animals or someone else's animals, they always act different away from the owner. So anyway, come around to the booking date. Um, you know, while the owner was here, we took our time, walked the yard, and a uh, little fella got to meet um, Rye and Skoda. Um, while he while the owner was here everything was fine so just told the owner i was just going to continue to introduce um, this little fella to each of our dogs one at a time side note this little fella uh -huh. he's t he's a 10 month old muscle yeah, that's yeah. all he is he's a pity he's yeah. an intact male yeah, yeah. Go. so yes. anyway so you know the owner had uh, had work to get to um so told her i was just going to you know continue to take our time to introduce him to everyone made it with two other dogs, so we actually met four, which simultaneously we had um, a car arrive to pick up. Gam. Gam. Yep, the service gets her. Yep. It's a, uh, a, a Gam's in the wheelchair mini now. Mm -hmm. So it is a, a van, uh, a, a wheelchair. Yeah, handicap wheelchair. Yeah, we're access we're <laughs> wheel, where? Mm -hmm. A wheel accessible, mm -hmm. wheelchair accessible van. And as it, as I like to, I've done it a couple of times telling the story already. As it backs up to the door, it goes beep, beep, mm. beep, beep. That's like louder than even what I would consider normal. Very high pitched. Yeah. And um, of course, you know, the four pups of ours that are out, you know, of course barking, which, you know, that's the norm around here. But I guess that increased little pity pups anxiety. And then with the beeping, he took off at 100 miles an hour like a bat out of hell, heading towards... State Highway 610. Yeah. <laughs> and he, although he knew the fence because we'd walked the fence line, he hit it at 100 miles an hour. He just thought he would test it and see. Yeah. See how sturdy it is. Yeah. Well, thankfully, he bounced off it. 
So. Right. So meanwhile, I'm. I, I was. We were slow. We do our little coffee morning. I went over trained, getting ready to kick my day off. And I'm inside, and you just text me something like, "Help." Yeah, urgent I'm, help needed. Yeah. I'm in my underwear, with a shirt on, and I'm thinking Gam's laying sideways in the driveway. Yeah. So I go out in the shop, make the turn, and like she's the woman's putting the the ramp like like kind of like I don't like this doesn't what, what, help what? Mm -hmm. And then I turn to my far right, and you're you yelling you're yelling at me. Jeff. You're Jeff. As you're holding the fence together, so I come in the gate, I get all the dogs inside, mm -hmm. and um, that was right before you know kind of the hurricane. That was on Thursday, I guess, right? Yeah, it was just yeah. drizzling a little bit. Yeah, so it's very humid. It's it's kind of raining, and um, yeah, it was just a yeah. kind of jacked up situation. Yeah, so you know, f first things first, get little fella in the kennel, um, and uh, you know, j quickly you know get the fence back in shape where it's at least secure. You know, so if the dogs get out, they're not going to be running the highway, um, and. You know, then quickly run back inside, um, you know, check on him. And it looks like he has some kind of, there's blood. There's blood on his face below his eye. I would have told you when you said that to me and I looked at him, I would have told you there was a gash under his left eye. Yeah. So he, again, is a nervous guy. He did not want me to look at this thing. I couldn't, I had to shine a light, you know, which of course freaked him out even more. Um, and uh, quickly called Rovo, explained the situation, what happened, um, per their instructions, that if anything occurs during a stay through a Rovo booking, you need to call them immediately. So called them. They were no bloody help at all. They basically just read me the riot act on, you know, how it's all going to go down. Um, if I have to take the dog, we're going to be paying, then we have to, you know, hopefully get the money back from the owner but ultimately the owner is responsible for any medical care and then they can submit any um, anything over $250 to try and get reimbursed so got off the phone with um, the, the lady was nice of course it's just Rover's policy which uh, truly I thought it would be a lot more helpful um, you know and that they would at least follow up with me, follow up with the owner, you know, be more assistance in this, what I would consider an emergency situation. How about more caring and concerning? Yeah. yeah. Yes. So anyway, call the, call the owner and um, she was super, super nice and understanding and immediately turned around. This was within an hour of the dog being dropped off, by the way, <laughs> and uh, took the pup to the vet, which they said they couldn't find anything. Um, that was great because I was very worried about having to medicate this dog's eye because he would not let me. Um, I don't want to get into a battle with any boarders that stay here. I don't want to develop that kind of relationship and they're not here for training. So I'm here just to provide fun and care and food and, you know, safe housing for them. So anyway, um, t kind of told the owner, hopefully we can uh, find and she could find an alternative um, place for him to stay because we didn't really have I'm sorry didn't really have um, starting to pound the table I think <laughs> did not have we weren't set up to really board a dog that needed the care because I was not going to let him free run in the he had to be walked on leash and so I did climb up in the four by six four foot by six foot by six foot kennel mm -hmm. that we bought specifically for Duke way back in the day when mm -hmm. we when PBHQ was in its infancy. Yeah. So I got up in there and showed her like it was plenty big. Yeah, she was worried yeah. it was going to be small little, you know, kennel which he's kenneled anyway, but yeah, we um showed her that she came and looked at it. She said no, he'll be fine there and basically he would be on a 4-hour um walk schedule while he was here. Um you know on a leash in the yard so basically had to shut down the shop area every time he was let out just to avoid any escape risk but it was it was a it was a tedious three four days four how days of care how about it was just a pain in the ass let me let yeah. me put it in, in in jeff's terms it was a pain in the it, ass. and it's not the owner's fault no, i mean she didn't know how to mean it like that be. yeah i just meant the whole thing is just it's yeah. just a pain the yeah. way that the way that you the way that you wanted to run this mm -hmm. The way that we're not set up. I was to run on board yeah. with, uh, yeah, this is the way we're doing it. Like the yeah. dog is our dog, yeah. so it's like part of our family. Yep. Yeah. Loose. Yeah. Like this, it just was not, a, not yeah. how it worked. And every out. time I had to bring him through, all of our, our six dogs had, all had to be locked up 
to get this little fella through just to avoid any additional excitement because again he, he is strong so I did kept him on a short leash I didn't want to get let him get any momentum yep. on a leash did Duke ever meet him no. no. Well, in the kennel, Duke, Duke sniffed, yeah. and they kind of were happy. Yeah. He he had a, he had the problem with proof. The puppy he oh. snarled at him. So anyway, so everyone was everyone was um, locked up whenever this dog was taken. So it was just a lot of in you know kenneling, crating, walking. It's just it was. <laughs> Pain not in the fun. Ass. It was pain a pain in the, in the ass. ass. Just say it's it. just not what we just say not it. the kind of boarding we wanted no. to do. So. Definitely has um, put the kibosh on Rover for me because that was a whole reason why I wanted to stick with them because of, you know, these unknown dogs coming in. At least I had a little protection there. Zilch. None. Done with Rover. You know, I was, I've told you, just shut that down. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just BS. Yeah. So I just kind of blocked my calendar off tonight. Don't necessarily want to do a knee-jerk reaction with the way I'm feeling right now, but I even shut Facebook down today. Put mm -hmm. it on a temp temporarily closed, just until I can. Well, I mean, definitely, recenter. definitely, some of this is is our. What I say, how did my life get like this? In general terms, not just specifically about this, mm -hmm. but I mean, like some of this. I guess you know, it, some of this is self inflicted. Sounds yeah. bad. Self generated, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, because we had puppies. Yeah. The pup, we didn't have the puppies last year. Basically, just had three of our own dogs. Yep. So, you know, with three more, damn, we it's, have six dogs. Yeah, I mean, it, just oh. with our dogs alone, it, yeah. it's like running a kennel. I mean, it's it's a, it's a lot to take care of. Um, Especially at their age. Yes. My gosh, yeah. like they are little T Rexes, man. They just. It's everything. Well, just like this piece of coal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what are you chewing on? Pull that out of her mouth. And 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 then they, with the uh, the concrete floors that are sealed inside with the um we have leather couches <laughs> and they just go back and forth on the couches like as fast like as ping pongs mm -hmm. yeah and and they go faster and next thing you know that couch is halfway across the floor it's <laughs> it's it's just crazy but anyway that will go out of it eventually um i'll get over it eventually but right now we kind of got our hands full where i'm going with this is when we had our little debrief this morning before I took Scoter, Proof, and Elmer T. Lee mm -hmm. over to train. Oh, I didn't know they had tinted windows. I didn't know Josh had tinted windows on that truck. Mm. It's an old Ford Ranger. I think it's got historic tags on it. Mm. Um, you said, I would really just like to have a normal Sunday. <laughs> well, and 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 the pity was still here when we left. Mm -hmm. So you were going to go train, and you know she's going to pick him up at nine. Then she, you know, picking him up at ten. So I, I wanted to get get my stuff out of the way with those guys. So you know, my day, our day, did not get backed up. Yeah. So you didn't get to go, um, but you did say I would just really like to have a regular Sunday. So that said, and we, oh, it's, I'm sure the water's cold enough, right? Yeah, then it's the vacuum backpack. Oh, you're talking about the yeah, yeah, yeah. ribs. Yeah. So you said, oh, man, can we just like can we just do like a normal Sunday? Yeah, <laughs> we, like just indulge a little bit. <laughs> so what we did, and I was so worried because I, you know, I was a little bit lazy. I didn't want to go to the, my really my third option store, which I knew that they would be fine. But my first option store that's closest to us, I had an inkling that they would not have baby back ribs and or they'd be frozen. Mm -hmm. Because I know my second option, they'll have them and they seem to always be frozen. Mm -hmm. So anyway, we got, for, I'm going to try to do these party ribs for you. I hope they turn out well. Thank you. Uh, we're trying to eat a, a tad bit more healthy. I'm I'm down 10 pounds. I'm, we won't have to talk about yourself, but I'm, I am down. <laughs> I, I've just kind of stopped eating a lot of the, you know, still, still drink, still drink, but... Mm -hmm kind of the the bs food of kind of come off try to come off that but we're going to try to do a decent sunday afternoon we're going to well, mm -hmm. the, the camp chef woodwind pro is covered up mm -hmm. but we'll break that bad boy out um and we'll get these party ribs on so but they, were, they were they were frozen they are frozen mm -hmm. but they're working their way to being unfrozen so yeah i did in the store real quick i did a quick google i was like ah oh, like in 40 minutes you should be able to in cold water you should be able to, as long as they're vacuum packed you should be able to you know defrost these things and i called you too real quick it's like hey what do you think 
and you're like, was there anything else? Yeah, well, there's these, there's really nice slabs of, oh my gosh. <laughs> of pork belly, and that there's two of them that so happen to be half price, manager special, wanted mm. to get rid of them. And then I flipped the other backside over. It said two ounces. Now, I don't know, two ounces cook, cooked or two ounces uncooked? I don't know. I don't know. But two ounces were basically 290 calories. <laughs> so I did 4.8 <laughs> pounds, did the conversion to ounces, divided by two ounces. There was a, allegedly, there's 1,100 calories in the entire pork belly, in four oh. pounds of pork belly. Oh, my. So that's when you said, is there anything else? Like, yeah, there's some pork belly here. And, I, and, the, and so the ribs... It said four ounces. Now, I, I'm assuming bone mm -hmm. is part of that. Mm. But four ounces was 220 calories, not 290. Okay. Yeah, so. it's definitely not as fatty as the pork yeah. belly for sure. Uh, but then, you know, Paulie had to go and do it down pork belly. Well, that's why I was thinking we, yes. should, we should do these. So. And you just mentioned his name. Mm -hmm. Well, first off, I want to say, Geoff has just texted me. Geo, as Gam likes to call him, or... His real name is Jeff Wood. We call him G off. <laughs> because he, it's Jeff and Jeff, otherwise it's too confusing. Right. But he just sent me this picture. I think it happened two days ago. Here, I'm going to show it to you. Mm. That's a l l 10, 000, not 10, 000, a not 10,000, 1,060 pound bluefin tuna. Mm. For you, for the, and the tail, actually, the tail section cut out a little bit there as I really look at it. Um, for those who don't know, when we go to PEI, we've been very fortunate two times to fish for giant bluefin tuna. And down east, because it's kind of banana shaped island, down east, up west, up mm -hmm. north, no, up west, up, up west, west, down east, yeah. um, it is North Lake, which is a little bit of an inlet, kind of a, Harbor. Well, it's, it's not a lake, yeah. but yeah, it's more, it's tidal. But uh, yeah, the North Lake, specifically PEI, North Lake is the bluefin capital of the world. Much like Ocean City says there, the white. Marlin capital of the world. We're just coming off the White Marlin Open the past couple of days. Uh, kind of an in I'm all over the place. Just keep rolling with me. Keep okay. following me. Kind of an eventful, uneventful. Now we didn't fish it, so maybe you know people fishing it could say, "Well, it was very eventful." But from afar, sitting watching the live feed, it was a very uneventful fishing tournament. Yeah. Two two White Marlin were weighed. Uh, three there was three Blue Marlin weighed, and a couple lots of tuna were weighed. Two dolphin and I think a one wahoo, like for six six days of fishing. That's it. Yeah, it wasn't. Like I'm, that's what I'm saying. Like it was. Yeah, to you me, it followed was, it more than I did. They were down about a hundred boats this year, and of course the storm was coming. So small boats, you know, I can understand a small boat not wanting to enter it. And the yeah, like 10.2 million total purse last year was only eight point. I say only. 8.5 million this year so mm. but yes uh geoff just sent me a picture of that bluefin tuna you just mentioned Which, Paul, when was it caught like what? two days ago oh wow yep so it's just and you go like out of once you get out of the harbor you go like three to five miles and you're right in the thick of it yeah it's so awesome. funny so funny when here in ocean city when i say here ocean city maryland if you wanted to attempt to not that they, ha they have to go past yeah yeah gosh yeah. yeah but well they're illegal to keep you can't keep anything over 73 inches as far as bluefin go but to, to catch you have to go at least minimum you're going to have to go at least 35 miles if not you know 50 to 60 miles to get to those fishing mm -hmm. grounds whereas yes 100 percent all pei man like you see land the whole time you don't yeah. go it, you don't go three miles it's crazy and you catch it drops off to about 80 to 100 feet and you're catching these big ass bluefin so total. awesome yep. if you ever want to catch one that's the place to go so much fun. Now you make me want to go tuna fishing again. Well, it's it's been on my radar. Oh, man. This we had our little debrief this morning about calendar. Well, no, not this morning. In mid afternoon, we had our little debrief. We had like, I like to have meetings. <laughs> me too, we? actually. Yeah. There are outdoor meetings in the yeah. outdoor studio. Uh -huh. But yeah, I like to have outdoor meetings where we just kind of look at, yeah look at our calendars and yeah. So we used to do this. I want to come back to a certain topic, mm -hmm. but we used to do this every morning before. Actually, before we even purchased this property, every and you you had the you know the five day a week job because mm -hmm. I wouldn't say the, the the normal job, but you had the five day a week job. Saturdays and Sundays we went wow, I got our coffee, drove to the inlet, ran the dogs, and then we drove around thinking, like looking for property, looking for this. We talked, well, hey, we want to do this. Hey, we want to do that. To my far right, when I came back, 
with the ribs i as i turned i can remember coming down that road many different times saying that's where it's going to be when we pull up to this oh, intersection gosh, yeah. and now it is so things do definitely do change um where am i even going with this i don't know, I don't know. yeah i don't know either uh yeah i guess uh, meetings 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 so yes we we would have i think back in those days we would have meetings as we drove around mm-hmm. we'd go sit sit and enjoy our coffee ran the dogs we talked 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 you know, I won't say you dream, but I'm definitely the dreamer. And, you know, think about this, think about that. We could do this, we could do that. Could we do this? Could we do that? Let's try this, let's try that. How can we do this? How can we do that, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, so, yeah, it's current day. We don't leave the house much. <laughs> well, I do, but we don't, not not in the sense like what I just talked about. No, not, we don't not go together, get, not leisurely we, driving around. We make we make our dirty duck coffee right here to mm-hmm. my ha- far left. Hard yep. left, hard left. Yep. We don't, do we get Wawa coffee? Sure. But like, I don't I even know. The last time, when? well, me more than you. It's but probably on the way to one test. Well, that's something. what I'm gonna say. Yeah. So when I went, when I headed uh, the train two weeks ago, mm-hmm. this past week with the hurricane, I didn't drive north. Yeah, but two weeks ago, I did stop to get a coffee. Mm-hmm. But yeah, maybe once a month we're getting mm-hmm. Mama coffee now. <sighs> I'm gonna take a deep breath. So I'm gonna put this back up to my lips. Mm-hmm. I know that he's not watching on YouTube. Who's but he? Island well, boy. I don't know. That is Paulie. I've Paul. never heard him call Island Boy. You never heard him call Island Boy? Mm-mm. Kid. Well, that yeah. But oh, but not, not Island, Island Boy. Boy. Oh, he's Island Boy. <laughs> Paulie, <laughs> when I when I put this to my lips, why does why is this? He, I'm sure he could tell me. You know what he would answer? What? Yes. <laughs> yeah, probably. I would answer a question. Yep. Yep. Yes. Anyway, why why is this? This Canadian blended whiskey, which I'm going to say is a blend. I don't, I don't know enough about my Crown Royal. Mm. It's got to have some corn in it. But to me, it's more to me it's more of rye. It's a blended rye whiskey. Okay. Now we need to look. How but, can we not be educated on no, this? Well, uh, because it, it's a... It, 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 uh, I'm stuttering. Crown How Roy- can you not be? Well, I am. <laughs> I'm not going to say I'm me. Trying, I'm, I'm, trying, say I'm trying. I'm trying. Uh, stop, stop, stop. I'm trying to explain myself. I had to stop and think as I'm looking at. Actually, I really looked at my ice ball. That's why mm. it mesmerized me. The layers of it. Oh, like a cat. But to me, uh, I would think that Canadian whiskeys are more rye than corn base. I don't, I don't know it for a fact. But I do know that Canadian Club is considered to be a blended whiskey. So they can mix many different. In my, my uneded, uneducated opinion, they can mix different um, batches, different mashes, mash, different mashes. So it could be, a, uh, you know, you could have a strong rye mash. You could have, you know, maybe one, a, one that's a little more corn, corn heavy, uh, on and on and on. But what I'm trying to go with, I, we do, the reason we name rye rye is there is a Canadian club rye mm-hmm. straight up rye and i said canadian club crown, crown royal. royal rye yes. and specifically when we go to pei the green label is and canadian club is rye mm-hmm. so i think it's a rye but Polly mckinnon island boy sweet Polly. i want to say 69 66 <laughs> <laughs> when i put this yeti to my lips why why am i karen says i'm addicted but w- what is my attraction to this taste what is it the f- how about this the flavor profile. He's riding around his truck listening to this right now. He is. He does. He I, wasn't, me, I wasn't 100% sure he listened. He sends me pictures. Okay. Now, whether he's listening, I don't know, but he sends me a picture <laughs> that he allegedly he's listening, but it's just a still picture. So, Paulie McKinnon. And, well, wait a second. Let me just enjoy this one second. Mm. Mm. I found out this morning that Paulie. Paul McKinnon, Paulie and Jax, Jaxy, Jackson, J A X S O N, will be the official test dog for the Canadian, Canadian or Canada, Canadian National National, the CKC. Help me, love, help me. Canadian Master National. Or the Canada Master National. So, um, a Jackson got injured. And did not he, he came up a pass, one pass short. Uh, and Paulie started driving like distance, to tr- you know, trying to chase the the pass to qualify. So, Paulie, I want to say this to you. 
I, I guess it's never going to come back. That's, well, no, you can never say never. But maybe in our dog's, our dog's lifetime, hopefully in our lifetime, but maybe not in, in our current dog's lifetime, that the, the, the Master National, the National, will return to PEI. But it's definitely coming back to the Maritime Poly. So I hope, I don't know how Karen feels. I think Karen's on board with me too. But I hope that we are able to run a dog together. In our case, maybe dogs with an S. Uh, and let's, let's pass the junior first. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, but yeah, I, I would like to go do that. So, uh, Paulie, thinking of you, we are. I'm. I'm very happy for you when you. I. I saw. I think I can't remember if, what page it was. Maybe page 13, 14 of sixty, of the. Um, premium. Yeah. I, I, Premium, yeah. I think it's more of a program, but yeah. Okay. Yeah, but they're definitely premium. Um, you know, his picture, it's a good picture of him uh, and, and Jackson. So congratulations. Yeah. Getting the run test dog. And I, I do feel, I feel bad that you guys, didn't, you know, truly are not, you didn't get qualified. That's what I feel bad about. So. Yeah. Yep. Tried very hard. 100%. That was good. I mean, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, they are dogs. So. Dogs are dogs, but in in Jackson's case, he did have that. What was it? It was a. The it was his dew claw. Dew claw and or uh, what would you call it? in the wrist? Is it a wrist? His coppice. Is that what it is? I don't know. Yeah. I, Some, I like don't in know. the front leg, the wrist front leg the would coppice, be coppice. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. He, I know he missed a good five weeks. Yeah. With the injury of of uh, the injury, um, time off, and then the testing. So summer yeah. flies by, dates were flying by. And uh, but yeah, anyway, Polly. It's more important that he was okay. So. Oh, 100 percent. Thinking of you, we are plus again, man. Why? Why is this so enjoyable to my tongue? And, and hey, why is it so enjoyable to Karen's tongue? Mm. Yeah, piece of a pod. Mm. Love. This is for those who do not know. Is the pit boss waterfowl? No, I don't call it. I never say waterfowl. It's the pit boss podcast. Mm-hmm. Brought to you by our very good friends at Molly's Place Sporting Goods. For the next, till the August 17th, Molly, Maryland has sales tax. Some yes. states don't. So the state that borders Maryland is Delaware. Delaware is sales tax free shopping. So for, until from now until August 17th, Molly's is covering your sales tax. So all, in store, a little asterisk. That's six percent. But asterisk is not online shopping; it's mm, in-store in shopping. Store. Molly's covers your sales tax. So if you are halfway close to Molly's Place Sporting Goods, easily found in Kennedyville, Maryland, or the way we've been saying it recently, easily found on Route 213, just north of Chestertown. Specifically for the radio ads in Delaware, easily found just south of Middletown, only 20 minutes from the Delaware state line. So. MyMollies.com M-Y-M-O-L-L-Y-S.com We appreciate Molly's Place Sporting Goods. They're getting ready too for their anniversary sale. It's, gonna, it's not that many weeks out. Mm. So, Yeah, the whole year is flying by. 100%. Up next is, I mentioned coffee earlier, Wawa Coffee, but we don't get Wawa Coffee that much anymore. We turn to my hard left and we enjoy Pit Boss Duck Boat Dark, which is a Dirty Duck Coffee blended roast. DirtyDuckCoffee.com. Any, 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 any purchase online at DirtyDuckCoffee.com. Use the code PITBOSS10, P-I-T-B-O-S-S-10, and you'll receive 10% off the entire purchase. Not just the Pit Boss Duck Boat Dark. And love, we need to get some cinnamon to you. Yeah. Right, so. Dirty. Yeah, very tasty. Yeah. Dirty Duck Coffee. Thank you guys very much. Up next, Turtle Box Audio. I've been enjoying the Turtle Box. The one, the white one, the Gen 2 is very dirty. Uh, it, and it, actually, I just keep kind of putting, I have to reach down and I have. I can reach into the power button, but there's basically Surf Scoter and Common Scoter kind of all piled up in that corner where I'm listening to it. But TurtleBoxAudio.com, live loud, but I still think that they should, their tagline should be the ultimate Bluetooth speaker. So, everybody at Turtle Box, thank you very much. We appreciate you guys. TurtleBoxAudio.com. Up next is the ultimate outdoor oven, the Duck Blind Bistro. They, uh, 
They, 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 they. You just pulled out because we had we got some biscuits for Gam. Yeah. You just let check, me know. Check the expiration. Yeah, let me know that they're good till October. Because I would have loved me some biscuits today. I was Why in that you say so? Because I we could have eaten the whole darn thing. That's what. Well, you should have said so. Gam would have enjoyed them. Obviously, I would have ate one or two or three or four. Yeah. And I would ate four. I've definitely ate two of them though. But I, I'm sorry. It's it is the Duck Blind Bistro, the ultimate outdoor oven. Uh, we talked about it last time where basically on stovetop, this is the way in-house. Not Forget about camping. Forget about duck hunting in the duck boat. Forget about in the duck blind a field. This is the way you should be doing your biscuit stovetop. It is simple and easy, easy and simple. And both sides of the biscuit get, fr- I can't say fried. No, I mean, get, we do actually flip it over, but they... It, both sides get cooked. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, so... Uh, DuckBlindBistro.com. I believe if you use the code PITBOSS, P-I-T-B-O-S-S-5, you're going to save yourself 5% on any purchase at DuckBlindBistro.com. Up next, punishing the docks and rocks. Steve Hoover, New Philadelphia, Ohio, Duckwater Boats, DuckwaterBoats.com. And I still hear that there's going to be locally here is a, a new 28. I think it's a blue water, not a, not an ocean. We have the we have the ocean series, the 32. There's going to be a 28 foot ocean. O, uh, just let's, yeah, I'm correct myself. Correct me, love. I, 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 it's I don't going to know be it's, it's going to be Sorry. the blue water, not the ocean. Okay. But anyway, there's a 28 footer headed this way for the season. I know Steve's working hard on it. Um, Steve's daughter just had a birthday, so happy mm. birthday to her. Mm-hmm. But Steve Hoover punishing the docks and rocks. Duckwater Boats, duckwaterboats.com. Uh, I was up in the world's largest duck boat yesterday. Strange feeling. It is. I haven't been in it since January 31st. <laughs> I mean, well, I've been up in it, yes. But, I mean, actually operating it on a body of water was uh, many, many months ago. So, actually, Geoff and Paulie and Nick... Castiglione mm-hmm. almost went back. Almost went back, Nick, to my old pronunciation of your name. Mm. But anyway, duckwaterboats.com. Steve Hoover is punishing the docks and rocks. We appreciate you. Thank you very much. Up next, crabs to go easily found on Route 50 and 589 in West Ocean City slash Berlin, uh, very close to the casino, which we love. I was going to say about the casino. We haven't been in the casino. I don't have. Oh, uh, you did the one time. Twice. Twice? Yeah, I went with um, my son the one time. Oh, I forgot about that. I just remember the, the time that Thunder Down Under or whatever. <laughs> anyway, crabs, that was fun. Crabs do go. I On my list still is to get cold crabs. So we need to make that happen. I, I think I want the next time we do it, I'd like it to be the outside temperature be a little cooler, too. Mm, yeah, make it a little more enjoyable. crabs gocom Everyone at crabs to go thank you very much. We appreciate them. Yeah. Up next. I can't... Well, if, well anyway. I was going to say, last but not least, but we're not... Re- I'm not really sure when I... But anyway, I'm, I'm stuttering. Up next. Forget about last or whatever place. Gunner Kennels. Gunner.com. Love say say the new fly the flyway series has just been released. Can you tell me how to pronounce that, please? Because I'm just gonna freaking Is it Saskatoon? There you go. Sus- say it again. Saskatoon? Saskatoon. Saskatoon. I've never been to Saskatoon. I've been to, I've been to Prince Albert. Okay. But I've never been to how you say it? <laughs> Saskatoon. Saskatoon. Uh, I think that's right. I think you're right too. Okay. Um I think that actually when if anybody's listening to this on the original upload date that there's still a couple days until you can go to the web page you can go to gunner.com you can mm-hmm. check it out but you can't purchase yet yep my I, good when is the actual release date the 15th the 15th okay. great so i think when this is up there's still gonna be a couple days mm-hmm. it, my eyes are bad mm-hmm is it snow white or is it off white? I can't tell because they kind of use a filter sometimes too in the right. images. So, but I, I think it's off white is okay. my guess. Well, get on if you have not seen the new flyway release for the to twenty twenty four season, get on gunner dot com. Man's best kennel, man's best pumper. Gunner dot com. Gunner kennels. We appreciate everyone at Gunner. So thank yep. you. Using those fans. Right, we are. I used them this morning. Yep. Charged them up last night. Uh, the new AC is running, but at the same time, the 
the Velet, the extra AC in the Pit Boss T350 is up and running. And we talked, we touched about that. We didn't really go into super big detail, except it took two days to do it. Well, the one day, was, I'm going to go off <laughs> on a tangent, day. but the one day was the whole whole pity, gam. Like, I don't think we, it was like 1.30 before we I was on top started, of the van, yeah, yeah, trying to drill holes and stuff. So. Yep, yep. And it was oh, so humid, oh, too. Yeah, Man, so we was just dripping wet. If you want to get on Instagram or Facebook, at Pit Boss, P-I-T-B-O-S-S, Waterfowl, F-O-W-L. You can check it out. So, All right, love. Last but not least is what's... I always say whaley of a wagon tails, but no, I can't say that, right? We'll take a little hiatus. All right, so last but not least is Pit Boss Waterfowl now booking for the 2025-26 season because we're full this year, which is... I, it's almost like the puppies. I didn't really... Yes, did I talk about the puppies? 100%. But I didn't really say they're for sale. I didn't really talk about that aspect of it. But this year is my 25th year. Our 25th year. Yeah, no, you haven't been with me for 25 year. years. But nope. this is this is year 25. Uh, one of our little morning meetings this morning, we talked about some of the some of the things that we're gonna that will be soon mm -hmm. soon coming out. I hope by September 1st we can say it's our I hate saying launch, but our official launch will be so September 1st. Hopefully, of of our what's what's available. Right. Yep. That sounds good. Twenty, 25 years of ducks, dogs, and decoys. Yeah. So. Yep. Big congratulations to you, love. Oh, I just feel old. <laughs> it's hard just, work for you. I just feel old. I just feel old. I uh, did a, a text message, which they, you said, I let you read it, and you're like, I don't even know what the hell you told <laughs> these guys. <laughs> you talk about that, love. I'm going to sit back for a second. You talk about that. I guess after the the day's events the other day with the pity and, and how full it was and trying to get the, the roof done, the AC done in the van, which we've had that AC unit probably for like pushing three, four weeks. I was going to say pushing weeks. five or six five, weeks. But, oh, okay. But anyway, yeah. Yeah, and, and, you know, summer's getting by and we're going to have this thing just sitting sitting around and, and never used, you know, during the summer. So anyway, we had to get it done. So we kind of, you know, mentally just, you know, sucked it up and and uh yeah got out there and jeff um is like a had a circus performer because i, I thought you were say i was like a, a a ninja monkey yeah that too i'm not but i thought of i felt like a ninja yeah, monkey. it was scary i do not like heights i kind of have like almost like little freak outs with heights but jeff managed to make it across to the roof from the from the door on the second level yeah we backed her close karen's idea to put the four foot door upstairs so we can get, easily get stuff in and out upstairs but we have no real way of we, don't, of we don't have a lift we don't have a ladder so even though the door's there the door is is future thinking but here this is what i really want to say is you know my body weight i was definitely very concerned about where i where i stood on that roof yeah so i had, I had to make sure that I, on obviously on the out the very edges and i did have I did have my tennis shoes on. Mm -hmm. uh, the very edges are, are stable, but going across, you know, from left to passenger driver sides, I definitely wanted to make sure that I was on a beam. And mm -hmm. we, you know, obviously, we're not cutting through the beam when we're installing the air condition unit, which is a 14 and a quarter square, inch square that we're cutting in the, in the top. And I, my nervousness was more about I, I don't want to like dent the roof or I don't want to go through I don't want to go through it I, I get what it went through it but I definitely would have like could have damaged it right yeah, pretty and I guess dent. it's a roof so nobody's going to see it because it's so high we could get inside and punch it up but still I just didn't want to yeah I felt bad about honestly I really had kind of a conscience of like we're, we're cutting a we're cutting into the roof of of a, of a good yeah. van. Yeah. So that, that maybe that that worried me. Yeah, but we measured. Well, you measured, remeasured, recalculated, times. yeah, and uh, yeah, and he got it right. So Thank Jeff you. is kind of, you know, he can. He's a man of many talents. Mm -hmm. uh, what do they say? A jack, I'm no expert in none. I don't know. Jack, <laughs> well, you jack of all. You jack did of it, all. and it's working. It's functioning. He got it all hooked up to the the battery, which is you know kind of an adventure in itself but he uh, he did a great job and now the the, the pops we just got to do some insulation in there yep and insulation um, skin it we are in good shape yep. just takes a little while we just don't have the checkbook to have it done all at one time no. or in the beginning no but we have everything sitting there we just got to get it done yeah. now <sighs> yep 
that'll be the next. When are we doing that anyway? You gotta work, get back in decoys. I do. Jeff is pulled in so many different directions. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, but I mean, you say that not to be like that sounds like you're not being dramatic, but like you say that. But at the same time, you know, I do have to say, like you told me earlier, like in June, you're like, hey, are you gonna be good? Are you gonna be good on time? You're, you know, you need to do this. You need to do that. Are you gonna be good? You're gonna be good. You're gonna be good. You're gonna be good. I don't know. What I'm saying now. Yes, you did tell me, and we did a quick another midday meeting about calendars, mm. and I don't want to use it as a crutch because you know, you know I will. But this year, the way the seasons fall, with leap year, with my daughter Molly getting married, we are going to go to PEI later than what we normally would. Mm -hmm. So in between there. Uh, where we normally would be in PEI, we're going to have some extra time yeah. between seasons for me. So th I still have some time in there. So No, you don't. Okay. Because there'll be other things to do. I'm thinking maybe the new foamzillas. The new, mm. new foamzillas, might, that might be my time where I'm painting Okay. That. that would be good. So I have plenty um, um, for my first six days, mm -hmm. the October split. Um, I'm, I could hunt. Literally, I could hunt today. What I like to... Some of them still need to be touched up, painted, yes. but I definitely could hunt over them today. Okay. But the new ones that I have in works, uh, so you have a, a, a maybe it's not it's not a secret or surprise, but um, I want to try to have a couple of king eider, mm -hmm. a couple of common eider, and I have a bunch of old squaw cut that I did not get done mm. last year, so I want to get those guys done. So, cool. All good there. This week coming up is going to be it's going to be that decision making time, which. You told me just to say, F it. Skoder's going to get entered in the senior and master at mm -hmm. the first hunt test. We're going to see how she does. Um, I think she's doing really well. If yeah, I think if she's going to get dinged and or uh, not pass, not succeed, it's just going to be like, and I know it's part of the test. I really do. But it's not going to be about, it's not going to be on the marking. It's not going to be on the blind work. It's going to be on like some like, you know, I don't want to say technicality because that, that that means I'm like I'm already making excuses for. Her. Uh, it, 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 here, I'll be honest. She's gonna she's gonna break or not honor because she does not have a lot of experience in that. All the other the actual work she can do. It's the work she can do. Mm -hmm. It's it's the it's that. Man, I'm gonna if I if I describe it as as ticky tack or pitter pat, it's gonna be me like that's me uh, belittling the standard, right? How? Because I'm saying, oh wow, well, she's, she's not she's just not going to pass because she broke. Uh, well, that's part of the test. Yes, that is right? part of the test. Yeah, so I mean, it's just as it's just as important as can she mark and can she run blinds. But I'm just saying, sitting here right this minute, I, I feel confident about her marking ability and or her blind ability and some of the uh, poison bird type situations, mm. the control. I yeah. I'm just not sure. Again, I'm just not, is she going to sit there? Is she going to sit to see three marks, which uh, training days, yes, she, she, of course she had a collar on, but yeah, she sat there. Mm -hmm. Is she going to sit there and honor? That was, that was back in the day, that was Coot's issue. Man, Coot would have been a master, could have, should have, would have, 100%. She would have been a master 100 before she, 24 months old because she didn't like to honor. And that's part of the test, I know. But I, all I'm all I'm saying is, that's going to be, I think that'll be her shortcomings. If she's if she does not pass, it's going to be on something about that in those that those areas. Well, now that uh, Wagon Tiles is on pause, um, at least I, you know, can come with you each day and, you know, for training and and yep. uh, we can you know work on the honoring because she is so competitive with rye <laughs> yep 100 percent. so that'll we be can, and we, we we can even set this up just right in the yard it doesn't yeah. have, we don't have to be it doesn't have to be anything big time whatever whatever yeah but and so some of that stuff too like when she comes even on a fun bumper recently when she comes back i got the the pistol in my hand pop and i throw a bumper mm. don't throw it at her but I throw a bumper mm -hmm, just like mm -hmm. so she's it's just something she experienced and again you know game day the real event the trial the dogs birds it's going to be you know she's going to be amped up even more but I'm definitely definitely trying to dial her in which it's going to my la the last two weeks that's going to be basically my my um, my major 
focus is going to be on more of a obedience. So, okay. Um, that's all I got, love. What do you, anything? No, no, just, you know, obedience for the pups too. So we're kind of. Oh, 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 oh. Is it still going to happen today? I think oh. it will. Let's, we'll get the ribs prepared. Okay. Get them on. What time is it? We're yeah. good. Get the ribs on. And today is going to be day one of what for the pups? Well, hopefully um, 14, right? Is it 14 days? Nah, I, let's do it. Let's do a 21 day. Okay. And we're going to do more of a 21 day plan. Okay. But what's our force fetch? Yep. We'll get them up on the table. They've been up on the table way back in the day. <clears throat> we're going to get them up on the table today. Probably have a treat or two just to make sure they're comfortable being up there. Yeah. And we're going to start hold. So. Proof is going to stand like a foot taller than you. That's fine. I have no problem with that. <laughs> He's a good boy. Uh, officially force fetching the pups will start today. We're going to start with hold soon. If you'd like to follow along with that and see how we do, uh, we'll have some short stuff up currently. But September 1st, we're going to kick off Pit Bosses Black Labs. It's going to be a YouTube series, a rumble series, a video series. Uh, first off, First up, not first off, first up is not going to be the necessarily the pups, but um, the story. There's going to be the story. That's, that's how we're going to tell the pit bosses, black labs. That's how we're going to tell the story of past dogs as well as current dogs. Yeah, hey, you got here. Yeah, yeah 100%. I don't know. <laughs> it's, a great it's a great idea I had. I just don't know. Is it like a monthly series? Is it a weekly series? I just, I don't know. Well, just don't we'll, spot we'll, off more than you can chew. Well, we're going to... Jeff is a producer, editor, and director. <laughs> no. I, I was going to use a colorful word to describe you. Colorful word to describe. What I said. Okay. I well, thought it all kind of ran together. Yeah, I did oh, say lucky world. Lord, I did, love, I did say world. <laughs> a colorful... <laughs> You should. <laughs> should I just pull the plug right now? Yeah. Is this my lack of... I haven't eaten anything today? You ate something earlier. Well, I'm not even through my first one. Yeah, so we should not do the dogs today. No. Oh. Yeah. All right, well, I guess Monday. Monday, mm -hmm. Mon Monday, Monday, Monday. Instead of Sunday, Sunday, <laughs> Sunday. Yeah, no. Cecil County Dragway. We need to do it in the morning. Paulie McKinnon, if you're still listening, which I hope you are, why do I enjoy this so much? <laughs> why do I enjoy this so much? I'm not, I'm not allowed to use the word addicted. Mm. No, love, I don't think that's good. When you talk about alcohol, I don't think, or anything else, I don't think. Well, I, can, can I say I'm addicted you, to sushi? You can. It's a taste thing. Well, you just made Paulie throw up. <laughs> <laughs> you probably I can't did. eat chicken tenders every day of the week. Mm. Chicken tenders are good, though. Yeah, they are. All right. This has been another episode. If you're still listening, we truly appreciate you. If you're still watching, we still, well, we truly appreciate you, too. What was I even going to say? So when we say that again, if you're still watching, we appreciate you, too. And if you're watching, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Give us a thumbs down. Leave any comments, questions below. If you're listening on any of the major other platforms, the audio version, please leave us a five star rating if you enjoy my ranting and Karen putting up with my ranting. Ranting? No. My uh, rambling. Rambling. Yeah, I don't rant. I ramble. You ramble. All right, yeah. I ramble. All right. Another episode of the Pit Boss Podcast brought to you by our very good friends at Molly's Place Sporting Goods. Love, I need more ice and I need some more Crown Black. So, we good? We're good. Let's get them ribs on. Party ribs up next. As always, thinking of you, we are. Boom. Cheers. Cheers.